Hi everyone, it's Jimmy at Encore Tennis. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to teach our um, mini tennis players, our juniors, how to serve. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, let's explain the first bit, um, roughly where the lines are on a tennis court. So uh, a mini tennis court, got a net that runs all the way along here. Um, you can see I've put some lines in the middle of the court here. This divides up the service boxes. So we've got one service box here, one service box here. Obviously for a mini tennis, uh, we're always serving cross court as we would for um, uh, adult tennis. Um, so uh, players should be ideally uh, serving from this line here which is the outside trail line this is called the baseline in mini tennis so obviously throwing the ball up and doing it cross court into the service box on the other side this line is the singles tram line this is known as the um, the service line on a mini tennis court um, so they're the basics on the lines uh, let's get into progression number one okay so let's get into progression number one this uh, involves not using a racket so when we get our uh, mini tennis players starting to serve we get the racket away from them put them on the floor we grab a ball and we're going to get them to try and throw the ball over arm okay so the key teaching point we like to uh, to teach is um, standing sideways on and we want to aim with our non-dominant hand um, obviously um, where we want the ball to go and then load with the with the ball here with my dominant hand and throw it up and uh, throw it over the net ideally and um, we can do it, uh, we, if we can teach them to do it, do it cross court at this point that's even better so throw nice and easy like that and um, so let's get into progression number two number two this is going to involve um, throwing the ball up and then the player without their racket is going to strike the ball um, with their arm fully extended strike the ball and try and hit it uh, with their dominant hand so a little bit like this there we go so throwing it up and striking the ball like that so uh, this is a bit more technical. Key teaching points are, again, we want to be sideways on and we throw the ball up onto over our head and we want our, our dominant arm to be nice and high, fully extended, like so. Okay, so progression number three. This is uh, a little bit trickier. So again, still not with a racket. We're going to get uh, we get two balls. So what we do is this is a bit of a coordination. Get us um, uh, moving both uh, arms at the same time. So key teaching points. We want to be again sideways on. We want to throw the throwing. So throw our ball up first, and then we're going to throw the other ball to try and connect with the ball in the air. So again, this is um, a bit more, bit more technical for our, our, mini, our mini tennis juniors, but it helps them get a bit of coordination going without the racket. So throwing the ball up here and trying to throw the other ball at the other ball that's been thrown up. But it doesn't matter if they don't hit the ball, as long as they get coordinating the first arm with the throwing arm first and then throwing with the, uh, the dominant hand second. That's what we want to do. It teaches, uh, teaches the brain to uh, get all the processes in motion. Okay, so progression number four is going to uh, involve a racket now. So we uh, teach our mini tennis players um, uh, the grip. So, so the easiest way to get a grip uh, for the mini tennis players is to hold the strings with our 
hand, run it all the way down the handle so he's shaking hands with the racket. Um, this is roughly a, a chopper continental grip. This is going to give us a nice flat racket face when we're trying to strike the ball, really nice and easy for our juniors to get going. So uh, this is called the, uh, we like to call it the slingshot serve. So um, players will stand front forward like this and serve, which is fine, you can do it this way. Again, we're just trying to teach the racket to be up here and pushing over the net. Uh, ideally, we want them to be sideways on if we can. That uh, would be my, um, my key teaching point on this one. And obviously holding the right grip and trying to hold the racket as high as we can. We want the racket at a slight angle so the ball is going to go up in a rainbow trajectory. So like this. Again, we try and teach them to serve it into the box, cross court. It's not the end of the world if they don't. Most of the time they're going to struggle to control it. So just uh, get them to um, get the ball over if they can. Again, obviously, um, we start them up quite close to the net um, using a spot. Ideally, they want to be um, progressing on to serving from the baseline at the end. So from the baseline, that's the ultimate goal. But um, for, the, for the minute, and uh, just have your player quite close to the net. As long as they're getting it over the net, then that's the, um, that's the way to build up the confidence and then obviously um, move them further away as they get more confident doing the serve. So, okay, so progression number five is the pop serve. So um, obviously holding the same grip, hand on our strings, shaking hands with the racket. So we're using the chopper continental grip. Um, this is going to involve throwing the ball up and then the player is going to pop the serve over. So key teaching points, we want to again be standing sideways on when we serve. Doesn't matter how close you are to the net. Again, get your players to be quite close to achieve getting the balls over with maximum success. Um, we want the racket uh, slightly uh, tilted to the sky. So when they hit the ball, it's going to go up in an arc and go over the net. Don't want them holding the racket like this because it would just go straight down. So there, rack it up and throw and pop. And so we're just getting the racket and the ball quite close to each other, little throw up and then pop. Obviously, the more success they do from this distance, then we're moving them further and further away, uh, back. Obviously, the ultimate goal is to be behind the baseline, serving cross court into the box. Um, as you would do for a proper mini tennis uh, serve. Um, okay, so let's get into progression number six. This is the L-shaped serve. So uh, moving on from the pop serve, we're gonna have our shape like this. So have our L shape here. Uh, we're gonna throw the ball up. They're gonna try and go back with the racket, scratching here and up and serving. They wanna come all the way around with the serve. So a little bit like this. So again, now we're starting to generate a bit more power. So again, watching again, it's L-shape, hitting, striking here, and then following through if we can. So go L-shape. So here you're really gonna see more generation of power uh, on the serve. This really is an evolution from the pop serve to the L-shaped serve. Uh, this is where they start to get some serious speed and um, potentially now some spin on, um, on their serves. Um, again, teaching them from quite close at the net. Then we're moving all the way back progressively to the baseline. Okay, so this is progression number seven. This is gonna be the last one. So this is when they're, uh, they're, it's really happening for them on the serve. So um, there's a couple of processes here on this serve. So again, we're holding that same grip, that chopper grip. Um, we wanna be sideways on when we're serving. So this is called the chop the, chop the toes and get into the L shape. Um, so what we do is we're sideways on, get our racket and ball together, we chop our toes, we go up to the L shape, they're gonna throw the ball up and then they're gonna strike the ball, hit the ball, obviously with the racket fully extended, arm um, extended and then pronate all the way around thumb should end up by your hip on the other side so let's have a give it a go so chop your toes up and serve it chop your toes l shape and serve it okay so there you go there are all the progressions um again teach your children to do it really uh, close to the net get lots of success um get them really confident and then obviously as you go move back further away from the um 
away from the net. Obviously, the ultimate goal is to be behind the baseline. I'll get a ball, I'll show us. I'm behind the baseline. I'm going to go for chop your toes, L shape, serve it, and into the box like so. Okay, so I hope this video was useful for your mini tennis players. Let me know if uh, there was anything you weren't clear about or things that you liked in the video. Um, we will be doing a whole other series of uh, other uh, mini tennis shots um, on our forehands, backhands, some volleys, uh, some match play, etc., etc. Um, so this can relate to mini tennis players, red, um, orange, and green. So the, the main ones, um, that we use, um, these are the main um, exercises that we use to teach our players to develop their serve. Um, so we'll see you in the next video guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you soon.